Hey guys, what is up? My name is Dom and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how long it would actually take to get to the highest level in GTA Online without modding or hacking the game. Now, when the game was first released back in 2013, Rockstar had set the max level to 1000, which for most of us is such a huge number in terms of actually getting there. Now, level 1000 seems like a huge number to reach, but there are some people who claim to have legitimately reached it through a lot of grinding and spending literal days playing the game. So, Rockstar have increased the maximum level to 8000 now, but the real question is how long would it actually take to reach level 8000? So, let's get straight into things with some of the best methods for getting the most RP possible. So to start things off, obviously the way we level up in GTA Online is through gaining RP or reputation points. And there are multiple ways of getting it. You can either do jobs or missions or just roam around in free mode and do the challenges to gain a smaller amount of RP. Going around in free mode is the easiest but it gives you the least amount of RP, hardly offering anything. So this way obviously isn't going to get you very far in terms of making it to level 8000. When it comes to game modes though, like races or missions, the longer you take with them or the longer they last, the more RP you gain. So as you can see from the gameplay at the moment, I just finished one of the adversary modes in GTA Online and got 7680 RP. Now we're going to use this example to work out how long it would actually take to make it to level 8000. Now in terms of how much RP you actually need to reach level 8000, it's 1,787,576,800 RP. So by dividing the 7680 RP I earned from that game mode into the amount of RP you'd need to reach level 8000, we'd have to play the same game and not just play it, we'd have to win to earn the most RP we'd have to do that 232,757 times. Now the game took just over half an hour, so we'll round it up for this and say it only took 30 minutes. So if we were to repeat that same game over and over again and win each time, it would take 116,376 hours. And to put that into perspective, that would take just over 13 years. So obviously you wouldn't want to do the same thing over and over again on repeat for 13 years straight. And there are plenty of other options to earn RP in the game, but even then you'll have exhausted every single way to make RP in the game. And that is a lot of grinding the same thing. So for another example, as you can see from the gameplay, I took place in one of the races. Now I only came second in this race, but I still got 4,630 RP for doing so. So by using the same method as before to figure out how many times you'd have to play the same thing, we'd come out with a grand total of doing the same race 386,085 times. Now to put that into a time scale, the race took 5 minutes and 22 seconds. But again, we'll round it up to just 5 minutes. So racing is a lot faster than the adversary mode that I'd played in just before, meaning we'd get to level 8000 a lot faster by just doing races. It's so much faster, in fact, it would only take 32,173 hours to reach level 8000, but that's still over three and a half years. So it's much faster than the adversary mode, but still a very long time to constantly be playing the same thing over and over again. Now with these methods, we're not taking into account the loading times of the game, which can sometimes be extremely long, or the game crashing or other similar issues that would mean it would take longer to get into the game. So those issues would probably add another year or two onto the time it would take. The real question is then, why would Rockstar make it an available thing to reach that level in the game? Obviously, it could be an easy way to find hackers as the game hasn't been out long enough to reach that level yet, or it could just be a way to make the game literally impossible to effectively complete or finish, meaning that people won't be deterred when they finish the game, because they literally can't. Well, at least not easily. Anyway, but there you go then guys, that's how long, or around about so, it would take to reach the max level of 8000 in GTA 5. Let me know in the comments what leveling game you guys are and how long it took you to get there, and whether or not you think you'll ever reach level 8000. If you guys could drop a like in this video, it would be greatly appreciated, and it helps me out a lot. 
And if you guys haven't already subscribed, then please do because we upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. As always though guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.